Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Thanks for stopping into my channel today. I have a special treat because I'm sharing with you not one, but two layouts in this video. I've been lucky enough to get my hands on the new beautiful Happiness Collection by Coco Vanilla Studio. And I just felt like sitting down and creating some really simple, clean layouts using this bright and happy, super sweet collection. Now the other reason why I had this was I was lucky enough to be able to teach a class using this beautiful collection. So I was, when I was creating this, I was thinking, I had in mind the people that I would be teaching this la these layouts to and making sure that it, I could achieve it within a, you know, within a couple of hour time frame. Um, I, well, I wanted everyone to walk away in a, a couple of hours with uh, two beautiful layouts. So this is why I've been able to manage to squeeze in two layouts in the same time. It usually takes me to create one layout and that's because I am using simple classic scrapbooking techniques that uh, allow you to have uh, layouts that don't that aren't overly time consuming. So here I am I am just sorting through the ephemera. This uh, this ephemera and like these chipboard were what well, I, I say chipboard because they're actually die cut so you think they're like normal cardstock but they're not both the ephemera and these beautiful titles are on really really thick cardstock it actually feels like chipboard the quality of these embellishments just blew me away when I took them out of the packet so I encourage you if you're sort of sitting on the fence with this collection grab a packet and you will just be blown away by the quality of of these you know these embellishments I I just loved it I um, thought they were really special and they were um, just something that was a really lovely it just um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say but but what it did it made this layout feel really quality and I love texture. I love feeling things that are different. And um, these, this collection was just stunning. And the quality of the cardstock and all the bits and pieces was just mind-blowing. So I encourage you that when you're in the shop and you're thinking about it, have a little feel because I know that you'll love it just as much as I do. So going through the ephemera, I found these couple of little frames. So what I wanted to do was sort of make my photo... Um, I want to frame my photo, but also turn it into a bit of a feature. So just to sort of bulk it up and make it a bit more of an interest point, I cut that square little frame, top and, the, top and bottom, just a little bit off centre, and I'm using that to create um, an, a second border around my photo. So this would be another way of, um, you know how we usually mat our photos and do a couple of little borders. This is just a different way of using up frames. I I always seem to end up with a lot of frames in my leftover ephemera packs. So I'm just being mindful of that and and this is this is a really cute way of um using these frames up and sort of maximizing and making your photo a bit of a feature. As you saw there I we have this beautiful pattern paper which which is this floral wreath but I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing my photo in or, well I, I want to wasn't losing the the wreath in with the photo I wanted to sort of blend them in so I just used my blade and cut in around that small section and inserted my photo behind it which sort of meant that the the wreath was jumping off and then I've just grabbed some embellishments. Now these embellishments are jam-packed full of florals and butterflies and hearts. So th those three elements, you can't go wrong. You could put anything anywhere and it's going to work. And that's what I did. A beautiful flower cluster down the bottom, a few little leaves, the title, thankful, um, a little tag up in the corner and then up in the top I'm just making that little cluster that says happy times and those cute little ch uh, die cut tassels going down there and all of a sudden you can see my layout coming together really easily. Now yes I you could I'm sure that there are plenty of ways to really 
um, go crazy on on the layout. You can add lot mixed media backgrounds. You can do more fussy cutting. You can add layers, but sometimes it's just lovely just to sit down and quickly pop out a layout. Just quickly create something. I know as soon as I had finished these. I immediately delighted in them and I was sitting there looking at two completed layouts and thought these are just delightful. Sometimes my layouts, if I've got cut files and I'm back in cut files and I'm doing lots of mixed media that needs time to dry, I, I really, um, it can take, some layouts can take a few hours and I know as a busy mum, sometimes I want to get creative but I don't want to, I, I, well, I want to be, have a complete like a project completed in a short amount of time and get that sense of, that joy from a completed project in a short amount of time so that's why that's that's why I sort of challenge myself to go keep it simple keep it simple so that you get it completed you get to delight in it and also keep it simple because the people that I'm teaching they don't they oh they are wanting completed layouts from my class they don't want to walk away with half completed layouts and then feeling unsure about how Lauren did a certain thing in the class I really wanted my class participants within a couple of hours to walk away with two stunning la stunning layouts and lots of leftovers so they're just they're jam-packed full of inspiration and ideas of what to how to use this beautiful uh, happiness collection and that's that's what I wanted to achieve so I knew by doing that there's clean simple classic techniques bordering your photo making a cluster adhering it down and adding a few little stickers and um, embellishments and and there you have it a completed layout I'm what the having patterned paper with a decorative piece on it like that wreath has just you know it's done half the job and so I encourage you if you're you know your mojo's a bit low head to your local scrapbooking store or hop online and pick up this happiness collection because sometimes when you find patterned paper that has sort of a decorative board it's just an well a, a feature piece um, decorated on it it's just enough to go okay I can just pop a photo on there and title and embellishment and I've got a layout done and it's enough to kind of rev up that mojo and engine again so yeah I hope I'm making sense but I just really wanted to sit down and quickly not overthink things just quickly make a couple of layouts uh, these these um, cardstock stickers once again the quality just blew me away they're thick and textured you can puff their little wings up on the butterflies and you know they're going to kind of be really sturdy and um, yeah I just I couldn't be happier with uh, the quality of the product and how this came together so here I am just finishing off I am going to add just a few little spritzes here of some color shine I think I might do that at the end um, but pretty much that's how it goes now here I am moving on to this last well this second layout now this is a free cut file from Paige Evans so I encourage you uh, Paige gives weekly free um, die, uh, cut, cut files in her uh, Facebook group and you can go in and download them for free from her I think it's like a Dropbox file, so I encourage you to go over and check that out because there's some beautiful free cut files there. And I wanted to use that as sort of adding a bit of dimension to this page. I wasn't going to back it, I just wanted it to create a bit of depth and this is it was a really easy way to, to achieve that. So that beautiful floral piece, I'm cutting out one of the large flower clusters. You know me and my fussy cutting, I can't... I can't get away from it, especially when you have a pattern card stock that is as beautiful as that with all those florals and uh, even the, the way the pattern um, was designed. You could see there were sort of sections of large clusters. So you could actually kind of tell which cluster you wanted to to cut out and which would sort of look good staying together. And I think that when people are looking at fussy cutting florals, looking for pattern paper that actually does feel like you can see a cluster as opposed to something that is just the same image all over 
the like uh, like replicas of the same flower all over sometimes you can pick out floral pattern paper that has these sort of dedicated um dedicated sort of clusters there that are really easy to spot and fussy cut so as you can see I'm just playing around here now this photo these photos that I'm scrapbooking uh, my parents moved out of our family home in January and this is one of the last photos I have of them every time we left the home well, I grew up in this home. Um, every time we left the home, mum and dad would stand out on the veranda and wave us off and we'd beep the horn and and it became a tradition. And I was, um, I think that's one of the things that I was going to really miss about my home is just those memories, um, those things that you sort of uh, rely on and fit in, fit pictures, like fit certain things into your life that, you don't realise until they're going or gone that it actually was something that's super important and kind of clicked into your identity. And so it was important for me to document that. So mum and dad, um, when we were leaving once, stood out in the veranda and I just pulled the car over, jumped up and took this photo. And I'm so glad I did because um, it just is such a special thing to me. Um, but yeah, anyway, back onto it because I'm like super speeding through this layout and you're probably thinking, what are you talking about, Lauren? So here I am, I am just setting out all, with all my embellishments, um, how I think this is going to look. Now, the, I've got the main flower cluster there to the side and I'm going to pop another cluster up the top. I encourage you that when you're doing your off cuts of your, um, you know, when you're, you, you've got pattern paper left over and you've got these off cuts like I'm, like I'm demonstrating here, um, you don't ever have to make a full frame around your photo um, when you're matting and adding your layers to achieve the effect of um, creating a whole border. You don't, you don't need to. So I've managed to use two off cuts. See, they're not, both of them are not completed rectangles there and if you look at that you can tell that my photo is completely framed and it is now sort of jumping off the page a little without me having to use that whole piece so I encourage you look at your scraps a little differently don't throw them away look at them and say can this add a layer under my photo can this can this add a layer anywhere under an embellishment and just you know just use it just the next time you do a layout, stick a few extra layers under there. Use up those scraps so they don't go to waste or, or end up in a big pile on your desk. And just use them up and, and you'll see that it will just add a, something a little bit special to your layout. And, um, and you know, that wasteful guilt, it, it will just fly away. Once again, here I in my mind thinking, yes, Lauren, you never use your frames. You never use your frames in your die cut packs so I was mindful I'm going to use my frame so here was a circle frame there like this beautiful wreath with a little um sort of the leaf um leaf line going around there leaf pattern going around there so I thought I'm going to use that so I just cut that in half and once again it's just a way of drawing your eye to your photo and having a um sort of consistency and section sectioning there so Yes, so I've just cut that in half, popped it up the top and the bottom and now I'm going to start putting all this layout together. In the die cut ephemera pack, those beautiful flower clusters that you can see at the top and at the side of my photo there, they are stunning. They are, you get these big ones that save you doing any work. They're all done for you. Sometimes ephemera packs just come with all these individual flowers and you sort of have to cluster them up and layer them up. But with this pack, it's full of um, multiple flowers in clusters. So you can just grab one piece, pop it down, put your title on top or put your journaling or add a couple of little puffy embellishments and they have it like, look at that, I, I haven't had to do anything. And the other beautiful thing is it hasn't made my layout super bulky. It hasn't, you know, it doesn't create too much dimension, although the quality is of these 
products are really thick and it's definitely noticeable in the completed layouts. Um, so, you, But what, what you have is a real feature element that's not going to take over and it has saved you actually having to make a cluster. If the designer has been the fabulous one and let, and let that work. Sorry, I've just got a little phone call there. I'll just end that and call her back later. So here I am just looking now for a spot to add some journaling. I always like to add a little bit of journaling. Most of my layouts in 2019 are forming part of my project life. So I don't have to do too much journaling because I know that these photos and other photos in this series will be well documented in my project life. So I encourage you if you're, um, you know, to tell a story with your photos, even if it's who, what, where, when, why. Um, just add a little bit of journaling on there or a stamp and, um, and yeah, just make sure those memories are documented. So I do a lot of journaling in my project life. So I'm, um, I'm lucky that my thoughts and feelings around this photo are going to be well documented and this layer will sit close by those photos in my album. So here I am just finishing off now with a few little embellishments, some little tabs there from the sticker sheet and the ephemera pack, a couple of little butterflies with their wings popped up, a couple of little hearts there on the edge of the photo and those cute little um, bowls of flowers. Well, there's one there's like a little jug with little flowers out. They are just so cute, sort of a little bit of a wild fieldy kind of feeling there. This little butterfly had extra kind of like wide wings on there. So I just trimmed those up um, just to make it a little bit more realistic there. And as you can see, I'm nearly finished and it's coming together really well. So I end up adding some white, I, I like I like some white splatters. I've got this really blue background here. I'm cleaning up because I know that's what I'm going to do when my spl I, sometimes I splatter and I go crazy. Um, so I've got this really blue background here and I thought I'm just going to make it a little bit more whimsical and wild and add some uh, white splatters there. And look at that. Doesn't that just pretty it up? Just makes the butterflies dance a bit more. The flowers feel a little bit more, you know, wild and, you know, free. And yeah, it's just sort of finished off that layout there. So there you have it. There's the second layout all done. And as you can see, I've done two layouts in the same time. I would usually do one and it's all come together really well. So I hope you like this video. I know it's a little bit not quite Lauren style, but I really want to encourage you to try some simple layouts at times and get that sense of completion, especially when your mojo is feeling a little low. If you've liked this video, give me a like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'd love you to become a subscriber if my style is something that uh, inspires you. And yeah, I'll be back again really soon with a new video for you. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.